Welcome to Board Games Daddy. Did you enjoy the last video with the base game from Lord of Alice? So if you do, now it's time for you to know what's inside the Warlord box. Second box in the Kickstarter campaign with more more content. Okay, so before we delve into this box, just reminding you that um, please subscribe to the channel if you like this content. I have more rarities to bring. I would like to continue to uh, have your contribution in it and the best way you can contribute at the moment would be subscribing, liking the video and sharing with everyone to see potential interest on these amazing videos. And thank you for that. So now let's go inside the Warlord box. This is a it's an even bigger box, even bigger box than before. Okay, so the box doesn't reveal what's inside, just shows you the the art that we've seen before on the art book so but you can almost guess if the box is as big as this one that means just one thing which is lots of minis large minis inside so without any further ado let's open um, and we start with the manuals dark ages expansions pack manual and you will get Poseidon here as another uh, god. The, there's another board, the Atlantis board. Seems like you also have one more color to play. So, does the expansion allow the fifth player? Mm, the fifth player, there it is, the fifth player. So, yeah, bring one more friend and join the party. Okay, 80s will also come. Oh, this ugly guy is 80s. Efastus. Efastus. Let's see them all. More heroes, more monsters, more additional combats. You had lots of repetition in the base game, so that's good that we have more. more. Monsters to fight. Kiran. And, okay, the snake. The snake is now the time for us to see who is the snake. Not yet, seems like. Good. And whoops! Chronos expansion manual. So the Dark Ages, and then you have Chronos, another very big god to help you. Chronos. So this was Chronos. What does this have to do with time? Chronos? Is it the sight that will wipe you out of your life and time and time ends? Okay, and we have ooh, such a big board. No, it's just an expansion. It's Atlantis that you put side on the um, bottom right corner. You continue to crease here, okay, and then continue to Iona. So that must be another expansion that will continue things on top of that with Iona. Is it? Hmm. Okay, or is it Iona the base game? I don't know, I don't have it here. But I hope that if you put this on the right side, there's nothing on top. So that must be something that complements here because the base game map will be on this side. So, and there are some expansions that I don't own yet. Unfortunately, I'll be working on that. I'll be, I'll be delighted to bring you those that wanted as well. Okay, so for the fifth player, you see the, the, purple, the purple board and there are the purple army there. We'll get there. So, yep. The fifth guy can join the party. Clayto as another hero. Clayto. I'm clueless who Clayto is on the mythological stuff, but she looks like a Valkyrie from a Japanese video game based happening in future or in space. And she has a lens, so is this one underwater? Is this character from underwater? Maybe because we have Poseidon here. Comment if you know, if you're an expert. Okay, so the monsters that we are going to face are Talos. Talos. Wow. Clayton is facing Talos. Talos looks like a tough guy, right? Like an electrical golem and you hit on these weak, weak spots. Okay. A siren, the mermaid that we've seen on the previous video. So, the, uh, the art book. Let me get the art book. For those who saw the previous video and find it please on the channel, we've seen the art book and many of these images we already have seen there. So the siren and the 
Chiron, which was the centaur. Chiron is a centaur. So it's one of the bad guys. Centaurs are always good guys. Cetus. Okay, so the Leviathan was not Kraken, was not Leviathan, was Cetus, the sea monster. Hmm. Ooh. Python! What else? The snake was Python. Python, there you go. The big snake. And wow, the typhoon. Is this a monster? The typhoon? Wow. In the original Greek mythology, it's a monster, the typhoon. And oh, it seems like Cronus. Cronus as a boss. As a whole mechanic around him that would require him to have a specific board. Mm -hmm. Different gameplay here. And who's this one? So this one is 80s. A different mechanic for 80s, probably having things from the underground helping him. More heroes. So this box is all messed up. If you have Odysseus, the sniper that we saw. It really is a sniper. And Cassandra, the PSVR beautiful lady. She's Cassandra. She is like the hacker in in Greek mythology, the futuristic Greek mythology. Good. So some of the things I'm not explaining here because we've covered that in the previous video. So if you're like lost on what the hell are these uh, team, what the hell is this team? Uh, Greek mythologies, cybernetics. Uh, please get to that video and you will understand better. Okay, open only if you have won three games of Lord of Hell, so I won't spoil. Now, under the plastic layer, Lords of Hellas. Lords of Hellas. There we go. We have then the fifth army. Let's see if the painting is better on this one. So, what I'm saying is that if you haven't noticed yet, um, this, this is a Kickstarter edition that came with a sun drop effect to replicate the sun effect on statues. So you see the painting, it's it's a matte whitish thing that looks like coated with sugar. Okay, that's the effect. I was expecting better, to be honest, from this special edition, special sun drop edition. Um, but on the monsters, it's not that bad. We'll, we'll see it on the monsters. Okay, where to start? I'm just going to remove tokens from from the in front of what what is really interesting. Okay, so the Chronos orders still sealed. Okay, find seal it. Let's see what are the Chronos orders. This. The orders are strong. Plastic is strong. It's not from Greek times. No, not for sure. Ah! You heard that? That snapping? It's Chronos orders. Chronos plastic being open. Okay. Finding on Phallos. So this is the region in the map when that happens. The blessing of Rhea. Closure to Tartar door, and then these are the specific cards to fight Chrono Chrono chains. So I don't know the mechanics here. And the, okay, so these were not the Chrono's orders; those were events. And these are the orders. So get Cerberus, get the Hydra. Okay, so he's ordering you to kill the the monsters from the previous game. Okay, and if you. Probably if you work with the guy, you'll get benefits for sure. Okay, what's this? Oh, such a big token here. And, okay, we've got more iron training and combat training. Okay, let's see. Those are some cards that look like they fit the mechanics from the first game. But I also see some new cards. So combat cards. These are the extra cards. Blessings now from 
from this kind of gods and from this kind of god the hammer a fast right and from poseidon yeah so the symbols really match the gods there you go poseidon a fast and had so on the previous game you had a reference sheet that had everything together now you have a card for each of them so you will see the the statues in in some minutes let's see so these are the blessings from Poseidon, then from Hephaestus, and then from Hades. Okay, and as combat cards, now we have more cards which look exactly the same. But these ones say Dark Ages expansion, but at least the images it's using the same heart as before. Not really big difference. If you, if you want to see yourself, you can check also the other video before this one I was expecting different artwork maybe here we can find something different let's see oh man these Greek guys they they know how to shrink with no absolutely no I just cut myself oh amazing you'll see you we're almost seeing here a scene from the 300, a bloody scene from a fight full of blood. <sighs> See, there's an absolutely no margin here on this plastic shrink for you to put a scissor. You need to push it, push it until you can fit it. Current training, rally cards, if more events. Events, events, and the combat cards out of place combat cards maybe this should belong to the other one okay so saving persephone gray pirita's wedding pirita's and then these are the events again fighting the monsters that come with this expansion and now you have another events apart from blood invigoration Emergency Listman, Temple Donation, or Council. Okay, so yeah, Relic cards. These look different now. Swords, some, some kind of dust here. Or some particles from the paint that. Ah, not the best impression when going through the cards. Okay. go and Chiron training yeah this look different they have the symbols here it's again the same artwork but with a different purpose it seems like okay where should we go now um, Pandora box there's something inside but I don't see any warning here not to open so yeah I'll do it for you guys I'll do it for you. If this is a major spoiler, I'm sorry for that. It spoils for you and for me. But we need to crack Pandora's box. Pandora opened the box and all the bad things in the world came out. According to the stuff. Oh man! This is a bad omen. I just destroyed part of the Pandora's box. This is a warning. Do not open. Do not open. Pandora's box. Do not open Pandora's box. But I don't care. Okay, so events. Events. Are you ready? Are you ready? Rules. Rule. Pandora box. Calamity cards. If you decide to open Pandora box, use the following rules. Setup. Okay, I'll just go through very fast. In order so they all look the same and they all have effects you saw them so monster memes oh i'll see now I'll, I'll show you so those are the bad things that came out of pandora's vault people uprising whatever fear hope hope oh hope is not bad okay so let's put the box back into the pandora's box see if the pandora's box stays intact until i play the game okay so the, the other heroes here the mini sorry those are the sniper guy and the lance girl 
and who was this one here? The PlayStation VR Cassiopeia or whatever she was. Cassandra. Cassandra, exactly. And uh, what is this? Some city. Beep, beep. And then now some monsters that will fight you or help you. See the sun drop effect here? Okay, so it's this white coating thing. Even if you when you go with your fingers there, when you touch with your fingers, the feeling is like it, it has sugar in on top of it. Okay, so these are constructs and artifacts. There we go. <laughs> you saw that? How surgical that was? Right on the corner. It was so surgical that it hit nothing. Yeah. I just divided the atom. Okay, so yee, so many different cars, so constructs and artifacts and oh, what's this? Pirate artifacts for these, this so the fast hammer, Hades helmet, Poseidon strident, and then from the monsters you get these items and the Trojan horse, pedal's wings. So those are. Okay, so these are Orpheus Lear. Those these are constructs from the the the, the mythology. Archimedes mirror, Galatea, Prometheus chain, the chain that is chained to the rock, Ara, got the golden throne. It's from Midas Argo. Argo is the boat. A very chariot. Chariot of fire. Okay. So these are for all the characters you have some token here with special ability to can use during the game. Okay, so you're asking, wow, this is so boring. Where is the cool stuff? You're right. I always leave for the end. The cool stuff. And here is the cool stuff. Woohoo, you see. Okay, let's just skip these tokens, right? Oh my god. How can you put so many minis together in just one box, right? Okay, so let's see. The Python. Snake. The Centaur. Chiron. All with the sun drop effect. Typhoon, the big monster full of machine guns everywhere. The dragon. Situs, the, the underwater monster. Ephastus with the hammer. The hammer of hell. The mermaid. She looks different here. The siren. Mm, this guy is in pieces. It's Poseidon. See the trident? Okay, sorry. Okay, not here. So I just want to see. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Poseidon. This one is very white. Very white. The big one, the biggest we've ever seen. Coronas, right? Coronas with the side here. So big, look at this thing in my hands. This is like a ball. I'm holding like a ball, so big, so big. Look at the details from the sheen and the side. It's just one piece, it does not broke into pieces, different parts. It's just one single piece. Talus, that big golem. That. And the last mini I have to show you 
Deus, e diz. E diz. Doesn't look that cool. Like 80s from Hercules, the Disney movie. Here we go. I hope you enjoyed. If so, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and be part of this community for the next videos. And I almost, I almost forgot that this expand this edition brought the terrain expansion also for Lord of Hell. So very quickly. Instead of using some cardboard, you can use the cities, the temples here. That look much cooler than just the cardboard ones. Some kind of city. And that's it with the rain expansion. Nothing else that I wanted to show you. Thank you guys. Please subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.